Hello YouTube, another day, another experiment. So here I made a very simple electrostatic motor. So um, it's very simple, we have um, a plastic jar with three pieces of, um, of aluminum tape on it, equally spaced. And uh, we have a water bottle just filled uh, with water just so it won't uh, topple over. And we have um, uh, aluminum tape. And on the other side we have another piece of aluminum tape. And the, um, on the other side the piece of tape is um, cut into a wedge. So this, um, this bottle represents our positive. We have the diode um, going this way. And this, this, this bottle represents our negative with another high voltage diode going this way. And these diodes are 30,000 volts, 0.2 amp um, diodes. And across these, uh, these bottles we have um, my, my Tesla hairpin circuits. So um, the capacitor should be charging and maybe, maybe it will help the electrostatic motor to spin better. So um, no, notice something strange about this electrostatic motor. There's no uh, physical connection. So we have um, basically a, an electric field formed between uh, th these bottles. And this, um, so we're, as you can see, it's, it's contact-free connection. And this is cell starter. So um, the power supplies are my tried and true 15,000 volt neon, uh, neon sign uh, transformer. And um, of course this variax. So okay, here we go. Okay, as you can see, it started spinning all by itself, and it's going to continue to spin um, until it reaches a, ter a terminal velocity. And um, what what makes it s stop accelerating is uh, the tiny wobble, the uh, the uh, the um, plastic can. And ends up with a slight vibration and that inhibits this further acceleration. As you can see, it's going pretty good. And um, the reason I'm doing an investigation into the electrostatic motors is because I want to look at the uh, Testatica generator. Uh, Testatica is a free energy generator that's located in Linden. Uh, Switzerland, it's powering a village there, and uh, I believe it's one one part this uh, an electrostatic motor like this, and one part a uh, Wimhurst uh, generator. And um, so you have a ele electrostatic charge being formed, and the um, the electrostatic motor is what carries the charge from one side to another. As you can see, it's going pretty well. I have to be careful here because we're, we're dealing with some really high voltage here. So, um, you guys use all the safety precautions when you're doing this. Notice there's no sparks, so we're, we really uh, have um, this the spin uh, in in the electric field, so it's contact free and no 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 real sparks. Anyway, I'm going to continue investigating, you guys. This is the Statica generator. And this is Windhurst generator. The Statica may also have been powered using electrodes. And uh, an electrode is something we'll go into later. But basically, um, it's a piece of dielectric that retains an electrical charge. So it's an electric analog of a magnet. So I'll, I'll be doing experiments with electrodes later.